Hello there gamers, I'm Kirby 8 slash Ninja Gamer, and today we are here with part, I believe this is part 10 of the paid walkthrough. Alright, so I didn't post a video yesterday, very busy yet again, stupid school and all other things in life. But today we continue on the library. In the last episode, uh, episode 9.5, we got the fourth souvenir, which was extremely hard to get, and I got extremely frustrated with paid it then, so that was also another reason I took a break. Alright, so cancel that out, throw one down, there we go. Okay, so the library is pretty simple and straightforward, as well as after the library, until we get to the boss. Now, the boss is extremely hard. He is about ten times harder than the first boss, and for that fact, I actually am going to do post-commentary on that video, um, just because I had a hard time beating him, and it was easier to record it before commentating on it, because I got frustrated with that boss. But anyways, that's unimportant right now. Um, this this part right here is pretty simple it does introduce the springs now before this I didn't know that you could uh, boost yourself up on the springs I don't think you're actually supposed to do it like that but for some reason my computer doesn't want me to um, do it the normal way but oh well okay as for the fifth souvenir I believe I'm getting hints on where it is I'm not exactly sure where it is precisely but hopefully I'll have that figured out pretty soon Alright, but continuing on, this should be the last part of the library, and then we move on to a small section before the boss. It's just a small section. From what I've seen, there are no bonuses in it. I don't think there are. So, it, we should just rush through it, and then in the next episode, we'll beat the boss, and it should be awesome. Alright, so that just cut on out on me. I ran out of hard drive space from recording so much. Alright, so if we come over here to the left, you can see we get these new, uh... They're burst beams. Now, these just make us jump super high, so if you use them... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. You can jump super high. These are used quite a bit in the next upcoming place, as well as the boss battle. Almost annoyingly so in the boss battle, but yeah. It's an interesting new thing, and it helps out a lot, and brings a lot more to the game. Now, that's one great thing about PID. They never stop introducing stuff, it seems like, and there's always new stuff to find, even until the end. Alright, so that's our first insight into what's happening in the game exactly, so we can tell that he's trying to catch us. Now we're just going to slip away here and get to the boss, and I'm going to show you the easiest way I have found to get through this part. It may, It's not the only way, I'm certain of that, but from what I've seen there are no important bonuses in this part. So if you just come this way, this is the easiest way I have found, so you can either come this way or go a different way. And I don't know what just happened there, I think I actually just knocked myself backwards into him. But anyways, here we go. Alright, so I have recently been thinking about renaming my, uh, or re going by a new name, not really a new name, just the 8-Bit Ninja instead of the Ninja Gamer, just because it's more original and it makes more sense for my channel and the way it looks. But, um, that's really unimportant, it's not that big a deal, I just thought it, it's more original and it makes more sense and I like it more. Alright, so we're gonna try and go through this without getting hit, there we go. Alright, so if we go ahead and actually, no! Alright, well, we dropped it. Okay go up there we go all right so if we grab this and bring it on over here we can set it down try not to get hit by these bombs no you can dodge those bombs pretty easily because if you jump they won't hit you uh, pretty much so long as you're not touching the ground they won't hit you now that is that I don't remember what that does I don't think it actually leads to anything important just more small bonuses now if I do miss anything here of course it will be included in an in episode 10.5 but I don't think I have missed anything so we should be golden. Alright, now go ahead and pull this and we can jump our way to the end. There we go. I'm trying not to fall here. I don't know why I threw that beam there, it's not important. There we go. And on our way to the boss we go. Now this boss is extremely hard, but I won't talk about it anymore. It, you'll, you'll see in the next video. If you want to see more on the next episode, uh, there should be a link in the top right the, uh, from the shows, or you can click the show thumbnail to the bottom right of the video. It will take you to a directory of all the shows. And goodness, I am dying for no reason at all. But anyways, for those of you who look for, looking for more episodes of PID or help with any parts in PID, go ahead and go to that directory, and it should take you straight to anything you need help with. Alright, dodging all of these, there we go. Go ahead and jump over him. Alright, so we have a pretty short walk over to the boss. It's not very long, and this video will probably only be about 5 minutes because it's just the in-between. 
So, in the next episode, they will, we will be covering a lot more than just this. Also, immediately following the boss, I believe we get a couple new upgrades. Uh, the biggest of which being... Oh, snap. The biggest of which being uh, the new armor upgrade, meaning which we can now use two... Ah, we can you take two hits instead of just one. And that is definitely a big help later on. It would have been a big help in that boss fight, actually. Uh, okay. Yikes! Okay, there we go. Now if you talk to that guy, he'll pause time. We're not going to talk to them, him though. Oh, because I don't want to get hit by any more of these rockets. Alright, and we're back. I've died about six times now trying to dodge these rockets. Now just dodge them as they come. You don't want them to stack up because then they just get absolutely horrible. Okay, now we only got one rocket left, so we'll just dodge that and don't have to worry about it anymore. Now hopefully... We won't get hit by any of these other rockets or many things going on in this rooftop. That was cutting it close. Alright, and there we go. Hopefully that should take us straight to the boss now. And if it does, I'm just going to leave you there. Actually, no, we'll go talk to the boss first because I forgot to include that in the start of the other video because I wasn't recording it live. So we'll go talk to him real fast. Oh, there he is. Now this is one that you may have seen in the trailers. He is pretty much everywhere. He is the face of what's got happening in PID pretty much. He is like the... He, he seems like the main boss from what you see in the trailers. He's not, though. He is just a wanted person. You'll see a flyer of that in the last place if you bother to look. I forgot to show you guys, but that's all right. I'm sure you can find it if you take the time to look around. All right, so we're just going to talk to him real fast, and then we, uh, you can check out the next episode for help on beating him. All right. Alright, so that's going to be it for today, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm just going to try and stay alive while talking to you guys. Um, if you are looking for more information on PID and uh, just some more walkthrough help, oh, I died. Um, be sure to subscribe and check out the show as I told you how before. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you would like to enter into the contest to win a free copy of PID for you or your friend, ah, dead again. Um, just leave a comment below or on any of the videos, and I will be giving that away at the end of the walkthrough. Do whoever the lucky person may be. I will pick the comment at random. It just has to be relevant to the video, and that's going to be it for today. So, peace out. Let's start with the 8-Bit Ninja now, just to get it going. Peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.